Walter Reed is a fixture um, up here. And for a long time growing up in DC in this neighborhood, it felt like a hidden gem. But I guess my most seminal memory is my Sweet 16 party, um, which we had at the Officers Club here at Walter Reed. We would always have to go here for anything. We would go to church here, into the chapel. We would, you know, have doctor's appointments here. The bank was here. It was a fascinating place to work. Just a wonderful place. Yeah. It was like home. Well, it was just, you just came in and did whatever challenging thing there was for that day. And I loved, I mean, most, I mean, I, I could say it was wonderful working at Walter Reed. The AFIP sets a standard. You know, to me, the AFIP was like a family. UBED is United Blacks Against Discrimination, UBED. And uh, <clears throat> it was born in my living room, so to speak, along with Mel Pendleton, uh, who was the head of UBED. Uh, we, uh, we realized that there was something that needed to be done as far as discrimination, was, uh, 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 discrimination on, at Walter Reed. We organized the, uh, uh, the uh, workers in the, in the laundry. Uh, they were, they were, I mean, unusual uh, conditions, and uh, they were uh, were meant to work. You know, they were they were supposed to work. You know, under these conditions, and it was, I mean, it was horrible. There was a little change, I guess, maybe by the time I came, because they had a multicultural uh, committee. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, yeah, uh, uh, so in. Um, they, they were trying to make sure that everybody was had had an opportunity to be included, and um, that that lasted for a short period of time. And then uh, the EEO um, uh, area, the sh she reminded me of that, um, had ethnic groups um, for each ethnic month. I had mentioned the. Uh, the relationship that my father and I had with some of the the veterans, the well, they weren't at the time out of the service, but they were wounded military personnel, wounded troops, um, where where he would go into his prosthetic clinic and also um, around the hospital, um, and we would we would eat at the same table in the cafeteria and talk to them about their experiences. Oh, everybody called the Walter wonderful. Really? Yeah. Everybody, you mean uh, in, in Germany fact, or everybody? Uh, everyone? All the Army doctors did. Um, and the, uh, uh, the attitude about it was that uh, it was different from any other place that, that uh, you would send somebody to. Because it, the staff were so caring or because? Yeah, they were caring, very caring. And I didn't, I never, never heard anything but good about it. Organization Day was a day that we brought in all the civilians, all the military people, and we would celebrate Walter Reed's successes and everybody would be invited. I used to serve anywhere between 4,000 and 5,000 people on that particular day. I actually served 13, 13 commanders here, and I served 10, 10 presidents. As an African American, I always felt comfortable coming to Walter Reed because I think it was so open to the African American experience. Um, the the beauty, the the um, store, the little store on the second, second or third floor had like all the hair products you would want. And, and of course that's mandated by DOD, but it, it was, I think they had a little extra, you know, I mean, it was, it was, there were a lot of African-American workers. And I think my father uh, really felt comfortable, felt at home, but like, this is your place. I will, I will always have fond memories of the AFIP. You know, that is the best place to work. The working environment was great, the people were great. 
Um, there were three, actually there were three objectives for the AFIP, right? You had uh, consultation, education, and research. And I had, I was able to get all three. So, you know, the education, the knowledge that you gain from all these uh, pathologists, big time pathologists, yeah. And there is, of course, a revival um, of our neighborhoods because there are many new people coming into the neighborhood. Uh, the most significant thing that happened uh, very recently is that the federal government decided to, to give to uh, the District of Columbia this entire facility um, once uh, the hospital itself moved into Bethesda. So the development you see here at Walter Reed came as a result of the federal government's transfer of this property uh, to the District of Columbia and to this Ward 4 community and it's making a difference in this community. I, I just know that I've, I've been here so often when I was little. I didn't realize I would be dreaming about it, but when we came here for the other interview, as we were driving up, the, up this little road onto the, onto the thing, I'm like, this is very familiar. It's been in my dreams, walking through all the time. Like I still have it in my mind. We must have been here a lot. <laughs>